So we'll start seated, um, either on your shins or cross-legged, entirely up to you. And we'll just do a few rounds of breath work just to settle us down. I'll do um, six seconds of inhale and six seconds of exhale, but don't feel that you have to follow that six seconds. Just find your own rhythm and just maybe count in your head if you're struggling to get to that um, six seconds. Hands can be anywhere in your lap on your knees. Just start with a nice, slow inhale in. And exhale out. So it's quite a little bit longer than I normally do, but you'll hopefully get into the rhythm. Inhale in. Really allowing that belly Expand and release the chest to rise and fall. Drop your shoulders, align your spine. focus on your breath for the next few moments and nothing else. Just allowing your body to sink a little deeper where you are. attention back to your breath. focus on the breath if you can, maintain that rhythm, still noticing that rise and fall of your chest. And then just interlace your hands and then push your hands forward so you're pushing into your shoulders. So really trying to create that space between your shoulder blades. So like that cat position that we go into. And then you're going to flip your palms facing out, reach your hands up and almost lift that heart like the cow position. Again, pushing into your shoulder blades, bring those palms facing you. Push into those shoulders. Flip those hands out, reach them up, lift that chest up. And then one more, reaching forward. And then palms facing up, lifting that heart. Release those hands, bring that right hand by that right hip, bring that left arm up and over. Trying to keep your sit bones nice and still. Come over to the left, bring that right arm up and over. This time we're going to bend a little bit forward, we're going to sweep our arm in front this time, bringing it round to the right, sweep this left arm up, reaching away. Again, lean forward, sweep that left arm, rest it down, sweep the right arm up, almost pushing that chest. One more over to the right. And then come back to centre. If you're not on your bottom already, come on to your bottom. Crossing your leg so that your right leg is in front. And you're almost crossing your, there'll be, um, your, half of your shins are gonna meet. So it's not like you're sitting traditionally cross-legged. 
your right leg is in front, you might want to sit on a cushion or a book to lift your bum so that your knees aren't too high. And we're just going to fold forward. So just walk your hands forward, sinking in. Walking your hands over to the left, keeping that bottom down. You may want to move a bit in this position or you want to keep still. Just trying to find that spot that feels good. Walk your hands over to the left. Super slow. Hang back to the centre, walk your hands up. Change the position of your legs so that your left leg is in front. Again, you might want to sit on that block. So in the middle of your shin should be in front of you. And then you're just going to walk your hands forward again. Walking them over to the right. And then walking them over to the left. Just listening to the body. Come back, walk your hands up. Release that cross of your legs. Bring both feet flat on the mat. Bring your bottom towards your heels and rest your top half down. Palms are gonna be flat, so your fingertips are towards your heels. You're gonna tilt your pelvis, come up into bridge. Keep that neck in line with that spine to push those hips up and then slowly one vertebra at a time. You're bringing your hips and pelvis down. And then again, nice slow inhale as you peel your hips up to the sky, pushing the hips up. And then slowly coming down till those hips touch the mat. And then one more, peel the pelvis up. And then slowly lower and down. And then hug your knees into your chest, giving them a bit of a squeeze. Allow that small of the back to have a little bit of contact on the mat. So whether you want to circle, rock from side to side. Hug this right knee in, let that left leg go straight if you can. Bring in a slight bend if you need to. If you need that small of the back to just be touching the mat. And then just flex and point your toes. Circle your feet in one direction and then the other. And then bring that left knee in. Let that right leg go long. And again, flex and point. Circle that left foot, one direction, and then the other. And then bring that right knee in. You're going to rock yourself up to seated if you can. However many times, it does not matter. And come onto all fours. So your tabletop position. And we're just going to do three cat cow. So you're going to pull your chest through, lift your heart up, tilt your pelvis, take a nice inhale in, and then exhale, really push into those shoulders as you exhale. Again, pulling that chest up, drawing that belly button down, really trying to lengthen that tummy, and then arch your back. And then again, one more. Thinking about your breath as you go. And then come to that neutral spine. You're just going to drop your hips a little bit to the right. Sweep that bum round and up to the left. So you're just circling your hips. Again, this might be somewhere where you just want to hang out in one area. Or you want to keep moving. Or you want to be still. Listen to your body. Change direction. 
Some hips might be super tight. It might be that you want to put the weight in your wrists. Literally no right or wrong, just moving. And then come back to that tabletop. Keep your hips over your knees as you walk your hands forward to sink your chest down into that puppy position. Melting that heart into the earth. Rest in your forehead if you can, or just bring that chest down as much as you can. And then slowly walk your hands up, bring your bottom onto your heels. Interlace your hands behind your back, draw them down, lift that chest up. And then bring those hands, to that, nestle into that right hip. Bring that right ear to the right shoulder. And then left ear to left shoulder. Bring that head back to centre. Draw those hands down the centre of your back again. And then nestle them into that left hip. Right ear to right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder. Back to centre again. Draw your hands down to the earth. Lift in that chest as you go. Release those hands. Come forward into tabletop. Flipping your toes, come into downward dog. And then just pad one heel down, then the other. Sweeping that right leg up. Not worrying about how far it goes up. And trying to bring that knee into your chest as you bring that right foot in between your hands. You might need to help it, shuffle it through. Drop that left. Knee to the earth, inhale, reach up, push those hips down. Bring your right hand down to the earth or onto your hip and bring this left arm up and over. And then swap sides, hand to the floor or hand to the hip. Really trying to balance, so trying to draw your thighs together so that you're um, keeping that base nice and still. And then come back to centre. Interlace your hands behind your back again. Open up that chest. Really trying to open up our hearts. As you release, bring your hands down to the earth to straighten that right leg. So that right leg is straight. You're going to pull your chest through for that mini cat cow. So pull the chest through and then arch into your shoulders. Pull your chest through. And then arch your back. One more. And then arch your back. Bring that weight forward, frame the foot with your hands and flip your left toes to lift that back knee. You're going to inhale, reach those arms up. Sink those hips down. Take a nice inhale as you exhale. You're going to draw your elbows back. Lift that chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, elbows back to lift that chest. If you're struggling with this back leg being lifted, just bring it to the floor. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbows back. Frame in that foot. Bring yourself back to plank, dropping your knees if you need to. Lower your chest and your chin. Sweep up. As you inhale, flip your toes into downward dog as you exhale. Sweeping that left leg up, bringing that foot through in between your hands, helping it if you need to. Dropping that right knee. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Again, bringing that left hand down, reaching that right arm up and over. You can bring that hand to your hip if that is easier, or put a block under that left hand. And then come over to the right. This is where you want to imagine you're trying to draw your thighs together to build that secure base. Bring that left arm up and over. Pushing those hips down. Back to centre. Interlace your hands behind your back. Draw them down. Lift that chest. As you release, straighten that left leg. Hands down to the earth. Pull that chest through, 
Take a nice inhale, exhale, arch your back. Inhale, pull through. Exhale, arch your back. One more. Bringing that weight forward, framing that foot with your hands to lift that back leg off. Really trying to secure that back foot. Hips are forward, feet are forward. Inhale, reach up. See if you can sink your hips a little bit lower. As you reach, really lift that chest. And then we're drawing those elbows back, lifting that heart up. Scoop up that energy, take a big inhale. Exhale, draw it into your body. Again, no shame in dropping that back knee here if you need to. Inhale, reach. And then exhale back. Framing that foot, bringing those hands either side of that left foot. You're going to bring right foot through to meet left foot. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Reach that nice and tall. Inhale as you exhale, hands down to heart centre. Rooting that right foot into the earth, finding your tree placement. So your toes are either going to be somewhere along that right leg. So either above or below your knee, resting on the floor. And just find that focus and that inner stillness and balance. If you're wobbling all over the place here, just bring that foot down to the next level. Hands to heart centre to start with. And just take that time, try not to grip too much with your toes. Drop your shoulders, take a big inhale. Draw the crown of your head up. So you can stay here, or you can reach those arms up and reach up nice and tall. Standing strong, rooted to the earth. Remaining still. And then slowly and controlled, release that leg out to the side. And then just tip your weight over to the right. And then come back, left foot to meet right foot. Connect your palms, hands to heart center. Find that placement on the other side. It might be different. Just take your time with no rush. Hands to heart center. Finding that focus. If you find that your foot is slipping on your leggings like mine are, then just push your thigh against your foot, your foot against your thigh, and hopefully they'll stick together. So the same again, drop the shoulders, try not to grip with your toes, just find that balance. Use your core, use the crown of your head, use your breath. Find that stillness. Reach those arms up if you want to, or keep them at heart centre. Standing firmly, rooted to the ground. Nice and controlled. Release that foot out to the side. Tip that weight over to the left. And then bring that right foot to the left foot. Connect those palms, hands to heart centre. Bringing that right foot behind that left to lower yourself to seated. Try and using no hands, if that is possible. Bring yourself down. Straightening your left leg in front of you. Bringing this right leg over the top. And you're hugging it in with this left hand. Bringing this right hand behind you, twisting that upper body round. Your other option here is to bring the outer edge of that tricep to that thigh and twist your body round, or hugging that knee in. Really trying to use that chest to rotate rather than your neck to draw the body round. And then swap sides. Bring that right arm in to hug that knee. Left hand behind you, gently twisting that upper body round. Coming back to centre, swapping your legs. So the left leg is going to be over the top of that straight right leg, hugging in with that right hand, or that option to bring that tricep to the outside of that thigh. I'm not quite there yet. Bring that left hand behind, gently rotate that chest around. Again, conscious that you're not cranking that neck all the way around, you're just using that chest. 
Hug that left arm in, come round for a counter twist. So that right hand behind you, lift that chest round. Come back to centre. Bring that top leg up. You're going to bring soles of your feet together, cobbler's pose. So don't worry about how far your knees are. Heels can come close in towards your body or further away. We're just going to lift our chest almost using your hands, whether they be on your ankles, just to try and draw your tummy in between your thighs, dropping your chin to your chest and just curling over. So you might need to like adjust this position so that you're, you're actually feeling something. But don't worry about the, getting your body flat on the floor. Just trying to bring yourself into those hips. And then bring yourself up. Bring that right hand behind you, left hand to right knee, you're gently twisting. Round with those hips releasing. And then come round to the other side. So that left hand behind, right hand to left knee, or to your calf, whatever feels good. and then come back to centre. Bringing your hands to your knees, you're going to do another little mini cat-cow, that is the theme of the day. I find it kind of opens your heart at the front and at the back. So you're going to arch into your back, hold onto your knees, and then lift your chest up. Take an inhale, arch your back, push into those shoulders, and then lift that chest up. One more, push into those shoulders, and then lift that chest. Bring your hands to the outside of your knees to bring them in, feet flat on the mat, bring yourself down, just walk your feet slightly wider than your hips, drop your knees over to the right, turn your head to the left, using this right foot to Anchor that left knee down if you want to, or just leave your feet as they are. And imagine you're trying to breathe into this left rib cage space. You're really trying to open up the side of the heart now. And then release that foot if you've got it on there. If not, just engage your tummy to lift your knees up and over to the left. Anchoring that left foot onto that right knee if you want to. Turn your head in the opposite direction. Breathe into this space. Make that space to the right of your heart. And then lifting that foot off if you've got it on there. Lift those knees back up to centre. Hug them into your chest. Again, rocking from side to side. Circling them. And then bring your forehead up to meet, meet your knees. Give yourself a big squeeze. And just relax your legs into your Shavasana. So if you want to be straight-legged, arms out to the side, palms facing up to open yourself up to any energies that are around you, or you may feel you want to be more secure. So palms into your body, focusing on yourself. Closing your eyes, relaxing your face, as you bring yourself to a moment of stillness, a moment of peace and ease, and groundedness. Allowing that breath to travel from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head and the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. Allow the breath to travel through your body as energy. 
carrying with it peace and ease and groundedness. Allowing yourself to feel the feels of the day, but not let them make you stressed or anxious. Just feel the feels, remain grounded, remain at peace, remain at ease. Slowly start to bring attention to your fingers and your toes, stretching them, wriggling them, rotating your wrists and your ankles in one direction and then the other, allowing your body to stretch like you've just woken up. Hugging your knees into your chest one more time, giving yourself a bit of love and attention, and then gently rock from side to side, and bring yourself to seated, whether that be resting on one side before you come, or rocking yourself up, entirely up to you. Hands onto your knees, crown your head up, drop your shoulders. Align your spine. Sweep those arms up overhead. Take an inhale, connect those palms, seal that energy in and then bring your hands to heart centre. Feeling peace and at ease and grounded. Thumbs up to your third eye. Spot on your forehead in between your eyebrows. Surrender yourself forward. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful day.